everyone. Today we're going to do some sequencing with the Korg SQ64 and this small Eurorack system I've put together just for this video. Why have I done that? Well, I really wanted to demonstrate how we can utilize the really weird ARP function on the SQ64 alongside some of the faux polyphonic modules around these days like the 2HP Pluck and Bell, which I have in this system or modules like the very popular Mutable Instruments Rings or Qubit Surface. I think IntelliJ Plonk is another one. There's a whole bunch of them. Basically, if you hit those modules with multiple gates, then the previous note will ring out underneath. So through the power of video editing, we will start this patch again, and I'll take you through what's going on. Okay, so blank slate on the Korg. We've got our Pluck and Bell here. I've got their audio outputs just going through the wrong electronics parallax low pass filter, a stereo filter, then into Monsoon, which is a clouds rebuild, and then just into the mixer. I also have a droning background pad from the 4MS Wavetable Navigator. So I'm just patching tracks one and two of the Korg into the Pluck and Bell, just the gate outputs into the trigger inputs and the CV outputs into the pitch inputs. So now we're ready to go, let's put in some gates. So we should see, yep, there we go. Little blinky light on pluck. Then we're gonna change the play mode to up. Now by default, it triggers three times per step, which is way too fast for what we're doing. So we'll change it down to one. That's more like it. We'll leave that for now and go on to track two. We can actually just put in gate and pitch information at the same time. So I'm just going to do that using the pitch mode. Yeah, nice. Maybe one more. Yeah, that'll do. Let's add a little pitch sequence to track one as well. Oh, by the way, I mentioned I'm running these through a low pass filter. It's actually a stereo filter and I have it skewed. So the side that the bell sound is on, the filter is more open. The side that the pluck sound is on is more closed. Okay, here's where things get pretty unusual. We'll go into keyboard mode on track one. Now, if we hold down a few notes and a step at the same time, we magically get a chord strum on that note. I've never come across a CV sequencer that does this. Add another one. So what's actually happening is the ARP function is strumming through those notes within that one step of the sequence. When used with polyphonic modules like the pluck and bell, this is such an unreal feature. Why they decided to call it an ARP instead of a chord strum, I don't know, but all is forgiven. But you know, this is modular, so let's, let's do some patching and get a little crazy. Modulate everything. So I've got six sine wave LFOs coming out of the wavetable navigator. So I'm just gonna patch a few of those in to various places, get a bit of movement happening. Oh, another feature I really like on this sequencer is the fill function. So I'll go to track one and put in a little bit of fill. It just randomly adds a few extra gates in your sequence. A little bit of sneaky variation. Also gonna reduce track two to 14 steps and put the polyrhythm on. So it's more, it's less repetitive, essentially. All right, let's do some patching again. This one can go here. Oh man, I totally forgot that this filter is skewed. <laughs> that explains why I'm not getting any high end. There we go. So now I'm modulating that skew of the low pass filter. I'll send another LFO to the bell to get some different bell sounds happening. And what else can we do? How about we... How about we modulate feedback on Monsoon? It's not, probably not something I would ordinarily do. It might be a little crazy, we'll see. 
So it's... Oh, I like that. It sounds a little orchestral. <laughs> kind of like a, a string quartet, kind of losing their marbles in the background. steps that you select on that track that is so it's only that first chord of track one that's being hit now all right i think we'll wrap it up I hope this video has given you some ideas on how we can utilize the very weird ARP function on the SQ64. It's more like a step divided chord strum function. Is I, I mean, I guess you can't really fit that on the tiny little screen, but you know, thanks for watching.